right, starting round three of four. Ready, go. If you're just joining us on YouTube, because Coach Tyler started the video record late for like the fifth time in a row, we're in the middle of doing 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off for four minutes. Exercise A is squats. Exercise B is CrossFit sit-ups and relax. All right. So back to the CrossFit sit-ups. Make sure you're touching your toes every time. Ready? Go. Good. After this, we'll have one more round. Three, two, just kidding. We got to keep going. And relax. All right, last round. Ready? Begin. Good job. Ten seconds. Five. And relax. All right. On your back, last round of sit-ups. Ready, go. My back keeps making noises against the ground when I go down. I hope my wife doesn't think it's something else. And relax, good job. Good work. Right. So those are two of the exercises that we have to do for the quarantine challenge. So we're going to use those to get warmed up a little bit. We'll change those up. Um, but now, uh, let me pull up the email again. I'm trying to remember how many, how many burpees it is that you all need to do. So 13 to 14 year olds, you guys are doing 20 burpees, all right? 20 burpees total. If you're 15 to 18, you are doing 25, all right? So we're going to do this next set. So I'll type it into the chat so that you can see it. It's a 10 minute EMOM, all right? That's an acronym standing for every minute on the minute. So basically it's like a set where it's on 60 seconds, all right? So you do your 10 burpees, um, and then when the 60 seconds is up, then you'll start nine burpees. And so however quickly you finish them, that extra time until the top is, uh, is rest for you guys. So we'll start at 10 burpees and work our way down to one. Push-ups or no push-ups? With push-up. All right, so um, remember that there are three components that we have to accomplish when doing our burpees, all right? So the first is that your chest has to touch the ground, all right? So it doesn't have to be a strict form push-up. Just your chest has to touch the ground. Uh, two, your feet need to leave the ground when you jump up. And then three, when you jump up, your hands have to go above your head. So they don't have to go all the way into stream on. They don't have to be like, oh, I am see it. All right, they just have to be above your head. So we'll start out at 10, work our way down to one. So as we go along, we're gonna get more and more rest. All right, so let's stand up. All right. Move my hat here. All right, starting with 10 burpees. Chest touches the ground, feet leave the ground, hands go above your head. We're gonna go in three, two, one, go.
We've got 15 seconds, and then we'll have nine burpees. Uh, five seconds. Ready? Set. Go. Nine burpees. Good. Good job. Just Sophia, just Dylan, just Gavin. Excellent, Victoria. Just Pulak, just Adam. Yeah, yeah, Sarah, if you want to do the hand release push ups, that would be good. Like, there you go, down, bring your hands up, and then push through. I was doing regular push ups before, so I'll do those now. Good. Uh, 15 seconds. And we've got eight burpees. Okay, you guys are doing well. Eight burpees. Ready? Set. Go. shoulder. We'll do another exercise. All right. 10 seconds. We've got six burpees. Not too much left. Ready? Set. Go. of rest.
guys can do this, the quarantine challenge, that's going to be a piece of cake. All right, four and three, two, one, yep. One, two, three. Gavin, are you okay? I don't think so, Dylan. <laughs> All right, three, and three, two, one, go. <sighs> nice. Good job. Gav, Gav. Excellent. Gavin, good. We've only got two. Um, Ashley, are you able to do the burpees? Thumbs up if you can. Thumbs down if not. All right, let's have you do squat jumps in. So you'll touch the ground, jump up. Just do twice as many. So you'll do four this time instead of our two. Two burpees, five seconds, three, two, one, go. One, two, <sighs> 45 seconds. So we have one more burpee to do. Great work, everyone. Now we don't have to do it for another 30 seconds. <sighs> 20 seconds. Good job. Ten seconds. So actually let's hit. I don't know what Dylan is doing. <laughs> All right, actually do two squat jumps now. All right, one burpee, ready, go. Ooh. All right. Very, very good. I get some boards on. Good job, everyone. All right. So let's talk strategy for the quarantine challenge for a bit. Um, now, the quarantine challenge, it is based on form, but just so much as in you have to um, can complete their desired form, um, which for the burpee, again, is threefold. That your chest touches the ground, that your feet leave the ground, and your hands go over your head. So if you're trying to complete your burpees as fast as possible, you don't have to take time to like lower yourself slowly to the ground, you don't have to bring your hands off the ground like the push-ups that they have you do. You just get your chest to the ground as quick as possible. I don't suggest just like falling down like you're a skydiver and you just hit the, hit the ground and face plant. Um, but get on the ground quickly and then you can push yourself up. You don't have to like pop your feet up uh, all the time. I saw some of you guys going to one knee and then standing up 
if that helps you complete the challenge more quickly than popping your feet up, uh, if that conserves more energy for you, then that's a good strategy. Um, so when you jump to get your feet off the ground, uh, like you don't have to jump this high. So if this is the ground and this is your feet, that's a lot. Like, this is still getting your feet off the ground. If this is the ground and this is your feet, all right, that's acceptable. And getting your hands up, you just need to get your hands above your head. So remember that as we're practicing these challenges, we're trying to meet their requirements and do them as quickly as possible, all right? Not maintaining the good, super uh, clean, like one to two seconds on the way up, one to two seconds on the way down, which is what I have you guys always do in dry land. Uh, because it's build muscle, right? The point of the competition isn't to build muscle. The point of the competition is to see who can do it the fastest. Um, that's why we build muscle for the competition. Um, yes, Dylan. Oh, um, I wasn't here when you said whatever the quarantine challenge is. Oh, I'll, I'll type it in here for you. All right, I'll type it in here again for everybody. Uh, so basically, this week is a practice week, Dylan, uh, and then next week is a challenge week or a test week. Uh, so you're going to do these exercises that I'm entering into the chat right now. Um, you can see that if you're 10 and under, it corresponds to the first column of numbers. The 11, 12 is the second. 13 to 14 year olds is the third column of numbers. And then the last column, the fourth column is for the 15 to 18 age group. So basically you're gonna do all of these exercises with the required number of repetitions as quickly as you possibly can for time. Now, we will send in a video of you completing the challenge and then I'll record your time. And then, um, your time will be submitted to North Carolina Swimming and they're gonna keep a leaderboard. Now the top so many people from each team and each age group will get a t-shirt um, if, if they finish in the top like four. So I think, I think RSA is considered a large club even though we're, we're not as big as some of the other clubs. Um, so for that, it's the top four in each age group. Um, yeah, does that make sense? Dylan, any questions based off that? Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Uh, any other questions as it relates to, to the quarantine challenge? No? Okay. Um, all right. Before we finish up with our last exercise, I'll go over the dry land challenges. Um, the girls are kicking the boys' butts right now in the handstand challenge. Like, we've had zero boys complete the handstand challenge, uh, which, like, I'm all for girl power. I'm a girl dad, right? So girls represent, but boys, slightly pitiful. Um, so the handstand challenge. You can see Mallory from the Mackerel Group uh, challenge everybody on the Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, whatever. So you can go on there. The object is that you're going to be in a handstand with your feet against the wall, and you're going to put on a t-shirt while you're in that handstand position. Uh, like I said on Tuesday, make sure that you already have a tank top or a tighter fitting shirt on already. Um, there's, there should see no bare backs in this video. Um, so just put on a looser shirt over top. Um, the other is the sidewalk art challenge. Uh, so we're taking in your best sidewalk art. It can be swimming theme, RSA, it can be motivational, it can be just a pure piece of art. Um, it can be uh, interactive, like some kids were swimming. You can see some examples. Um, I think one of the winners was swimming in hers. Um, that, was, that was really cool. Uh, Avipa did like a piece of art that needs to be in the Louvre uh, in Paris. It was, it was very impressive. Um, the top pieces of art, uh, of sidewalk art, will get a prize from Miss Hubbard. If we know anything about Miss Hubbard, she gives away great prizes uh, because she loves you guys. So uh, keep sending those in. Those are going to be due by tomorrow. 
Um, you can sneak over to RSA if you'd like just to see the pool. And uh, you can also decorate the sidewalk. It gives you a really big canvas and the sidewalk is like nice and clean, right? It's like that nice like fine white that you can um, draw on. Uh, so make it pretty. That'll probably give you some bonus points in our eyes. Um, Dylan, do you still have your hand raised or are you raising your hand again? I, I accidentally, I didn't click it. Maybe it just didn't go down. Do I have to, okay. oh, I have to click it to turn it off? Yeah. Brent, oh, I didn't know that, sorry. Quit raising your hand. <laughs> All right. I put it down. All right, nice. Uh, are there any questions related to that? Girls, keep sending in the handstand challenge. I want to see more. I want to see more people having completed that. Um, let's see. And boys, let's get someone in there. Gavin, are you watching Star Wars right now? Swimmer, Gavin. I can't hear him. All right. So to finish up, let's see. To finish up. The requirement for our push-ups is 20, all right? So we're going to do 20 of our hand release push-ups. So Dylan, I'll show you the form before we do it. This is gonna be the last thing that we do. Um, Ashley, I would like for you to do your shoulder exercises instead of these push-ups, all right? So I'll demonstrate the form again, all right? Now this is the uh, North Carolina swimming form that they want you to complete when you do these push-ups for the challenge. So hands directly underneath your shoulders, all right? You'll lower yourself down, bring your hands off the ground, and then push through, all right? So down, off, push through. All right, so let's do 20 of those right now, all right? 20 push-ups to finish up. You can go ahead and go. Make sure your hands release every time. Good. Good work. Good job. Dylan has already pounded out his 20. He was flying through that. I, I'm getting on that leaderboard, Coach Tyler. <laughs> hey, man. RSA will be on that leaderboard. So help me. I, I like the enthusiasm. Every day. Yeah. I'll do the thingy every day, and then it'll get faster, right? That's yeah. how it works. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it myself this weekend and lay down, like, the founding time. So that way, like, people have, like, a time to shoot for. Um, I fully expect you guys to crush my time in every way. Uh, but that's okay. Like, I, like Sophia Guerra is going to destroy whatever time I put up. Uh, she's that is not true. That is not true. She's a weightlifting champ. Uh, all right. Good job. Um, let's see. Swimmer Gavin. I'm going to let you have the last word. Um, hmm. I, I feel like I need to learn something. Let's learn something about each other. Um, so, Gavin, what would, you, what would you like to know about people? I can't hear you, Swimmer Gavin. Say it out loud. Uh, what are you doing over quarantine? All right, Swimmer Sor Gavin wants to know what you're doing over quarantine. Oh, his mic is broken, RIP. All right, Victoria. Oh, Victoria, what are you doing over the quarantine? Learning Russian. You, are you really? Yeah. <laughs> Give us some Russian. You know it's coming. Give us some uh, Russian. So, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I know how it's spelled. <laughs> how, are you, how are you learning Russian? Duolingo. Nice. Um, let's see. Privyet. 
I recognize it. I don't remember what it means. Oh, I, I, <laughs> think, I think it's just hello. Oh yeah. <laughs> and and Baka is bye. When I post this video to YouTube, some Russian people are gonna be like, "Ugh, that was horrible." <laughs> That's awesome. That's a really good one. All right, Victoria's learning Russian. Sweet. Uh, Pulaski. Um, I'm baking a lot. What What is your best creation so far? Um, I made chocolate chip waffles. That sounds good. Mm. I, yeah, I, I'm proud of that. And so you're going to send us all the recipe, right? I mean, I just look at it from the box and then I make it. Okay. All right. That's still impressive. I'll give it to you. Uh, Dylan, what are you doing over the quarantine? I've been riding my bike a lot in the trails. Nice. Do you want to swing your arms in the CrossFit setup? Uh, yes. And your legs are like fully in butterfly? Yeah, like we did it earlier. Okay. Yep. Um, swimmer... Gav, or sorry, Gav Gav. Uh, I've been biking and sleeping a lot. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Nice. Uh, Sophia. Um, I've been practicing like anatomy, like drawing, because I need to get my proportions right for art class next year. So that is yeah. awesome. I don't think you were here, but I, uh, I'm always envious of people that can draw. Do you have any artwork nearby that you can show us? Yes. Do you want? Huh? Do you want me to go get it or? Yeah. Right. While you're while you're doing that, we'll go to Adam. Adam. Uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, I'm also learning Russian on Duolingo. Really? Give us some Russian. <laughs> oh, uh, привет, как дела? Я Адам. Uh. That wasn't real, was it? I said, hi, how are you? I'm Adam. What's your name? That was awesome. He's it, much better than me. <laughs> that, that is impressive. Are you guys like, are you guys like battling it out on Duolingo? Well, a bunch of people are doing it. Uh, Sarah's also doing it and Evan and uh, Gavin. That's that's awesome. Did you guys get like scared when I told you that there was a Russian girl joining and so you all started learning Duolingo? <laughs> no. No. Witterans, you guys don't know this, but I, I convinced them that we had a Russian girl that was joining just because they were doing like this horrible Russian accent. I was like, this has got to stop. And, and then they found out that I was lying and that the girl wasn't Russian. Was it Carolyn? It was Carolyn, yeah. He told me about that. <laughs> uh, all right, that was impressive, Adam. And Sarah, what are you doing over your break? Or not break, but quarantine. I'm learning Russian and French, and I'm going outside a lot. Nice. Let's hear, I've heard some Russian already. Let's hear some French. Um. <laughs> um bonjour. Um. Je m'appelle Sarah. Comment ça va? Uh, bonjour, Sarah. Uh, je m'appelle Tiller, chauffeur. Uh, ça va bien? Et toi? <laughs> ça va bien. Nice. Um, all right, let's see. Witterings. Can you guys unmute yourselves? Nice. All right, what are you guys doing over the quarantine? Um, baking. Baking? What's, what's your best creation right now? Um, cake, I guess. What, ki what kind of cake? Nice. All right. And? Oh, uh, 
painting, I guess. Do you have a painting nearby that we can see? Uh, no. Oh. You, you probably have time to go get it while we hear uh, Gavin's and then we see Sophia's. Uh, oh, wait, we lost Avitha, but we can't hear Avitha. All right. Yeah, Ashley, go, go get a painting. Go for it. Um, all right, Sophia, let's. I can't find. Wait. Oh, my goodness. Did you unmute me? Oh, I can't find my sketchbook. That, that's tragic. All right, Swimmer Gavin. Downstairs in the cabinet, but I don't really know. Swimmer Gavin, what have you been doing over the quarantine? I don't know. Did you get your painting, Ash? Hold it up. See, I'm going to make it bigger. Spotlight. Hold it back up. That's awesome. That's really good. Um, it was it was a little fuzzy, but it it looked like Hedwig, and it was Hedwig with Harry's glasses and a Gryffindor scarf. Nice. That should have been the question. What Harry Potter house is everybody? Gryffindor. Uh, Griff. Was the best. All right. Swimmer Gavin says he's been riding his bike. Nice. All right. Anybody else like to say anything before we leave? Avita, would you like to try again? Say what you're doing over the quarantine? No, Avita says she's good. All right. Pulak? Um, I think you all should try mint chocolate gum. You should go out to the store and buy mint chocolate gum. It is literally the best gum. The ever, next time I want ever. another stomach, I'm gonna try it, so. It tastes like, it tastes like ice cream and it's really good. I love it. Thin mint. Okay. It, it, there's a Briar's ice cream that is Girl Scout Thin Mint cookies. That's what you got to get. Stuff is good. But non dairy. Cut out the dairy. Don't do it. Um, all right. Nice. Well, I will see you guys on Saturday. Make sure to get those challenges in. Uh, let's get them in by tomorrow. And then also, I think tomorrow there's a Kahoot challenge, uh, like a coach's trivia or something. So I think Coach Megan sent out an email about that. Um, if not, I will look for it today and I'll ask her to send it out to you. But some sort of competition uh, that they're doing to see how well you know the coaches at RSA. Um, so be in there for that. And I will see you guys later. All right.